night, sweetheart. Good night, mom. Oh, hello there. Welcome to the journey to the new you. Oh, hi. Now, before we continue our journey, please make sure you're wearing the right outfit. Mmm, definitely not something like that. Aha, uh -huh, that is much better. Oh, and of course, no snacks, please. I wouldn't want you to get distracted during this journey. And also, it's a big no-no to bring your toys, iPads, or whatever distractions you have. Well, if you're ready, then let's go! But hang on a minute, we need someone to pray first. Mm, can you help me? Yes, of course, let's pray. Dear Lord, Thank you so much, Lord, for today that we can embark on this new journey, Lord, journey of the new me, to discover the new me to be more like you and to be a good example to the people around us. Help us, Lord, to praise and worship you, to listen to your words. And also, Lord, we are listening, so speak to us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, we are ready now. Let's go! who rests in the shadow of the most high God will be kept safe by the mighty one. I will say about the Lord, He is my place of safety. He is like a fort to me. He is my God. I trust in Him. He will certainly save you from the hidden traps and from the deadly cities. He will cover you with His wings. Under the feather of his wings, you will find safety. He is faithful. He will keep you safe like a shield or a tower. You won't have to be afraid of the terrors that come during the day. You won't have to fear the arrows that come at you during the day. You won't have to be afraid of the sickness that attacks in the darkness. You won't have to fear the plague that destroys at noon. A thousand may fall dead at your side. Ten thousand may fall near your right hand, but no harm will come to you. You will see with your own eyes how God punishes sinful people. The Lord is the one who keeps you safe. So let the Most High God be like a home to you. Then no harm will come to you. No terrible plague will come near your tent. The Lord will command His angels to take good care of you. They will lift you up in their hands, then you won't trip over a stone.
You will walk on other lions and cobras. You will cross my lion and poison snake. The Lord says, I will serve the one who loves me. I will keep him safe because he trusts in me. He will go out to me and I will answer him. I will be with him in times of trouble. I will serve him and honor him. I will give him a long and full life. I will save him. Adventurers, because God is so good, let us sing him this song. We're on the course to fulfill all our days. Knowing, of course, that God is good always, always. Know me, love me, I trust you.
kids, sometimes when we have a problems, we need someone to talk to. But maybe you are too scared or ashamed to tell it to your family or friends. But today, I want to tell you that Jesus is always there when you need Him. When you call Him, He is all that we need and He is more than enough for us. He is our all in all. We can call Him as our Father, Friend, Healer, Protector. So let us worship Him and with all of your heart sing.
sing the scripture together from 1 Corinthians 11 verse 1. Come on! Hi ho, hi ho, follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 1. It's easy, right? Let's do it again so you can remember. Follow me. I ho, I ho, follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. First Corinthians, first one. Did you memorize it? Should we do it again? Let's do it one more time. I ho, I ho, follow my example. As I follow the example of Christ, please as we get out of I hope, I hope, follow my example. As I follow the example of Christ, please as we get out of verse 1. Now don't forget the scripture and follow the example of Christ. See you next time. So Jesus wants us to be like him. We are tasked to mirror his way of living to the people around us. Luckily, I've been doing good this entire time. I've read the Bible and I've done so many other good deeds to other people around me. You are wrong. Who's there? Where are you? Hello. I am the mirror that tells the truth. And I'm here to tell you that you have not been living like Jesus. Wait, what do you mean? Yes. Look through my mirror and see all the bad deeds you've done in the past. things in the past when you see in order to be just like him you have to change yourself you have to live your life carefully and be a good example for others just like how Jesus was a good example for those around him mirror thank you so much for making me aware by telling me the truth but how should I change myself Hi everyone, I am Papa Shrek. Yes, I am the father of the famous, famous, famous Shrek. Yet I am, I love to paint. Today I want to share with you how I paint. Now, children, painting is just like our lives. It can be colorful, beautiful. Or it can be just black and white. Or it can be nothing. You know, when God created us, He created us with His own image. And He created us as His masterpiece. You know what masterpiece is? Masterpiece is the greatest creation. Yes, God created you as His masterpiece. I want to tell you the story about life, about being a good example, just like Jesus, you know, Jesus is a very good example, we should follow Jesus, but I want to teach you to be a good example just like Jesus. Hmm, I need that special book, hold on, hold on. Ah, I found it. Oh, okay. Wow. Cool. Now, children, this, our life, this is a very special coloring book. Our life is just like this coloring book. Once we accept Jesus, we have a coloring book. Our life is just like a coloring book. Right? When we do bad 
things. You will become bad examples, such as you disobey your parents, you lie, you cheat, or you bully somebody. You know what your life will be like? You will be just like this. Empty. And what if sometimes you do good things and sometimes you do bad things? Half and half. 50 and 50. Well, your life would not be complete. It would be just like this coloring book. And it's black and white. Oh, do you like your life to be black and white? Oh, children, you can make a difference. You can follow the way of Jesus and be a good example. Change your life. Love the people around you. Help the people around you. And then you see, your life will change. And it will be full of power. Who wants their life to be like this? Whoa! Right, children. Who wants their life to be that colorful? The one and only way is to do what Jesus did. To be a good example. Just like Jesus who is so full of compassion and love. He make the lepers, he heal the lepers, he make people who cannot walk, walk, he make the blind see. Jesus is so full of compassion to others. So you can be that too, right kids? And then your life will be that colorful. Amen? Huh? Kids? You guys are still here? The lesson is over! Over! It's time for Titi Liana's wrap up. God bless you. So mirror reflect things the way things are. So we, our lives, we need to reflect Jesus in our lives. Jesus as our role model. And you know, He's nice to everyone. He's kind to everyone. And He shows compassion to everyone. So let us be like Him to be a good example to the people around us. And you know, every time we see the mirror, we think about how we can reflect Jesus in our life. And now, let's watch a video of how Jesus healed the leper. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on a rock. A new teaching. Really great. Amazing. Never heard.
such a teaching before. Look, a leper! Go away! How dare you come here! Master, don't touch him! Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. I will do it. Be made clean. See that you tell no one, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. So what do we see in this video? We see that Jesus was healing the leper. Do you know what is a leper? A leper is someone who is actually suffering from leprosy. Leprosy is a very bad skin disease. It is very smelly and it eats away the bone and also the skin and the flesh. You know, everyone was so scared to go to the leper. But Jesus showed compassion to the leper and approached him. You know what did the leper ask Jesus? The leper told Jesus that if you are willing, I will be healed. And Jesus replied to the leper, saying that, I am willing, be clean. And immediately, all the leprosy was gone, and he was healed. You know, in this video, we see that Jesus showing compassion to everyone. You know, although everyone is so afraid to approach the leper, to be near the leper, but Jesus showing compassion to him, approach him, and bring healing to him. Let us be like Jesus showing compassion to everyone that we meet, to the people around us, to our parents, to our friends, to our teachers. And let us be kind in our words and also in our actions. And let our words be bring a blessing to the people around us. And so that we be more like Jesus every single day and be a good example to the people around us. Let us say our power statement out loud together. I want to live like Jesus. I want to be a good example for Jesus. So after we embark on this new journey of a new me to be more like Jesus and to be a good example to everyone, let's have a quiz time. So prepare a pen and a paper to write down your answer. First question. Complete the memory verse. Follow my dash 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 as I follow the example of dash dash dash. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 1 A. Will, Jesus B. Example, 
comma Christ. C. Father, comma Christ. Second question. Who is a good example for people in our lesson today? A. Jesus. B. Mary and Joseph. C. Abraham. Third question. Our Bible story today is about Jesus healed the leper. Why did Jesus want to heal him? A. Because he is a good man. B. Because it was Jesus' job. C. Because Jesus taking pity and showed kindness to him. Fourth question. Name some good examples. A. Love God, help others, polite. B. Obey parents, hate others, cheating. C. Love others, fighting, rude. Fifth question. How should we live our lives so that people can see Jesus in us? A. We have to live for God. B. We have to become a good example. C. A and B are correct. Okay, that's all the quiz for today and I hope every one of you passed the quiz well. So before we close, let's close in a closing prayer. Dear Lord, thank you so much Lord for today that we embark on this journey Lord of discovering the new me to be more like you and to be a good example to everyone around us. And Lord, we want to speak blessings to our parents, to our teachers, to our brothers and sisters, and to our friends. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wow! It is a new journey, a journey of discovering the new me. To be more like Jesus, Jesus is our role model and the perfect example. And we want to be a good example to everyone around us. There's more to be learned. Oh, so I am actually holding this Bible the whole time. So it is real. So if we want to be more like Jesus, we need to read the Bible more. The war of Rahab still stands until today. Rahab was the woman who lived in Jericho and assisted the Israelite spies by hiding them in her house before the Israelites attacked and won over the promised land. When the city of Jericho fell, Rahab and her whole family were spared because she had saved and made agreement with those Israelite spies. This archaeological site is believed to be the remains of wall of Rahab's house that was spared during the attack to the city of Jericho. <laughs>